I built a uReCAPTCHA library so that you can fight against the machines. This is an open source website that I built just to test the library. I connected this button with Google reCAPTCHA version 3 API. Google will monitor my interactions with the website to determine if I'm a human or synthetic. All you have to do is just click here, you get a token back, then you have to make a post request, including this token. So here, what Google is telling us is that there's a 90% chance that this was a human interaction, which is pretty, pretty decent. Let's take a look at Google's very educational presentation of reCAPTCHA version 3. Okay, so you have your website. As soon as you put your website online, bots are going to try to interact with it. It doesn't have to be Amazon or a very web, uh, big website. You have scanners constantly testing all websites in the world. In this case, I guess the bot is trying to break some sort of password and it succeeded at that. You can always use reCAPTCHA version two, but this requires human interaction, which uh, is just one extra click. So instead, what Google is offering with version three is uh, a way to use a probabilistic model to uh, determine if an interaction is human or not. So the scale goes from zero to one, where zero is 100% a bot and one is 100% a human, if it makes sense. Let's look at a, a very useful use case. So let's say that you have some sort of recommendation system, then you, you might have bots trying to post bad recommendations or bad reviews. When your website sends the review to, this, to the server, you can associate the reCAPTCHA score with that form and send it along with the form. <laughs> when your server gets the, the review, it can look at that low score and say, well, this is just garbage. So uh, just throw away the, the review, right? So it's flagged as uh, malicious and just filtered out. I open source the code and release the crate to crates.io so that you can use it. Let me know what you think. To use this crate, all you have to do is to obviously install the dependencies. In this case, as the time of recording, the latest version was 0.1.2. Then go to your U app and add this component to your DOM. I recommend that you read the site key as an environment variable at compile time. And every time you want reCAPTCHA to run, you need to like overwrite this, this callback. In this case, when we press the this button over here, we overwrite the callback here. So we keep overwriting the callback so that reCAPTCHA keeps recomputing a different uh, score for each interaction. Remember that once you get the token, you need to call the server with this token to uh, determine if the interaction was made by, by a human or a bot. Don't forget to support the channel by subscribing and let me know what you think about this kind of content.